Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. So we are going to go ahead and give this another shot. Facebook has definitely been having some issues. Um, not really sure what's going on, but we're going to keep ourselves in good spirits because we have to get this information out to you guys. So let's see if Amy is going to go ahead and come over and try to join me again. Um, for some reason, it's not letting either one of us join each other's live. So um, you guys, thank you so much for your patience. Again, those of you that are going to be checking out the replay, please forgive us for the technical difficulties. It definitely doesn't have anything to do with us. So hopefully, just hopefully, um, Facebook is going to cooperate. So let's see if, um, and I'm going to get my computer because I've kind of been going back and forth. Um, so let's see here. Okay. I'm just kind of watching, trying to see what, but I have my fingers crossed. So let's see if it's going to do, do what it needs to do. Okay. I'm here. Let's try this again. But then let's see. I kind of want to take a pic. Let me do a screenshot of this too, Amy, so that I can send this to you. That way. You okay. So I see you're here, and for some reason, it's not, not letting me. Um... Okay. Wait a minute. What is it saying now? Okay. It says waiting for a signal now on my end. Okay, let's see, once. Honestly, I know for a fact that it has something to do with Facebook because you and I are both totally capable of doing a live. We've both done them individually. So is everyone doing a live today or what? I know, right? Um, I want to send you this. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, so for some Okay, so this is the interesting thing. I see your comments, Amy. I see Susan. Welcome, Susan. So when I clicked on Susan's name, Amy, it popped up under where I can add her. So I don't see you yet. So hopefully it will say that you're watching. I don't know why it didn't say that you were watching. Like I see your name, but I'm not sure why it's not letting me Thank you for joining us, Susan. Thank you for your patience. I definitely appreciate that because Facebook is doing a lot today. <laughs> this is definitely not, okay, yeah, same thing. So Amy, how about this? I know you have your phone in your computer. I'm not sure where you're signed in from under your personal Facebook. But if you can maybe use the other device and see if you can come in through your um, business page and see if it'll notify me that you're watching and I can maybe add you that way. Because like I said, I see you commenting and then I saw that Susan joined us. It actually said that she joined us. It said that she's watching, but your name, it never said you were watching. It just shows you commenting. And so I can click on Susan and I can join, you know, I can bring her in. So I'm assuming, yes, beautiful. Um, yeah, I know that it's not this difficult. I just really, really, truly believe that this is like Facebook because, um, you need to get a plate, baby girl. Okay, trying now. Perfect. Um, let me help it. Yeah. So, this is still going to be good. You know, things like this happen in technology. So, it's all good. We're going to get we're going to get it out. Okay, let's see. I know it's saying, oh my goodness. I don't know why it's saying this. Um what do I do? 
Same thing. It's just showing that you're here. Now, I wonder. Oh, it's there. It's there. Perfect. Okay, we got it. Connecting. Yay! We did it. <laughs> No, no, okay. listen, do not be sorry. Take a deep breath. It's all good. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I wanted to use my laptop. And so now I'm all kind of like jumbled here. Well, so listen, let me try yeah, take, take a few seconds and <laughs> regroup. And yeah, we'll oh start. My, I'm like, all right, now I have to go on YouTube to try and figure out how to make this work and watch a video. And I couldn't get it. So. I'm glad yeah, you I don't know why. So you saw the little thing down at the bottom, the little person. So I don't know what was, yeah, but we're here. So we're going to. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're good. Well, that wasted like a half hour. I'm sorry about oh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me. I'm sure. Oh. Yeah. Facebook. Thank you for picking that out. I'm trying oh. to get my tripod. <laughs> no, say, listen, <laughs> take your time. I promise you. Take your time. Take a deep breath. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, um, I just, I was gonna say, while well, I kind of get I'll set up here, myself while like, you're doing that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So first and foremost, Facebook, thank you for finally cooperating. Right? What would we do <laughs> without, you know, social media woes, technology woes? But you know what, you guys, we made it. I'm super excited to be here with each and every one of you. Huge shout out to Amy for putting this together. This is definitely, um, you know, a really good opportunity for us to be able to, to connect our audiences and just really add additional value to everybody. So my name is Valencia Holland, and I'm better known as the style educator. And so I specialize in helping women understand what their proper body shape is, learn how to dress for their body shape, and build a brand new wardrobe. So I'm excited to be sharing some different um, style advice and style tips today for you ladies to be able to use for this fall and winter season that we are entering into. So again, we apologize for the delay, the technology. I trust, trust me, it wasn't us. It was Facebook. Facebook, this was all you, Facebook, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, I'd like to think that I'm not uh, that bad, but no, you know, I, know. yeah, I know for it because even when it was free, it kept freezing a lot too. So th that was a lot of the delay that it kept freezing up. So we weren't even able to really, you know, try to keep, you know, figure it out more quickly because it kept freezing. But we're here now, so we're gonna definitely make the best of it. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, me too. Um, so I, for you and for anybody else, um, I just, do you notice any like freezing right now or is everything kind of like good or? Oh yeah. Before we get started. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not noticing any freezing on my end. So yeah. And let us know like if there is anything in the comment section, but I think we're actually all good, honestly. So. All right. Okay. Perfect. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was going to say, like, I was so prepared. I have my notes here. Like, I have mine. Hey, Sue, don't yeah. worry. It's yeah. like <laughs> exactly. Um, so thank you again for joining me and for kind of putting up with all of that in the beginning um, and for introducing yourself. Um, and again, my name is Amy Fredrickson. I am the owner of All About Organizing. Um, and I basically help people by creating, like, custom solutions um, in their homes, whether it be like a new home or, you know, one that they've been in for a while um, to kind of help them live better in their home. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like me and you, like, our businesses, like, go hand in hand, um, mm -hmm. you know, especially like in the closet section, right? right? right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like, organize the closet, but when it comes to like fashion, <laughs> don't have that. So, um, so that's why I kind of thought it would be kind of nice to like, you know, maybe talk about both things with everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or, you know, you kind of, you kind of pick, I know you said like, um, 
I will just say, I, uh, you talk about like, you know, really knowing like your shape and everything like that. And like, I ended up taking that quiz and I was like, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> like, you know, so I, I think that's like really cool. So do you want to like talk a little bit about that or something or? Oh, absolutely. So thank you for, you know, <laughs> taking the quiz. And before I say anything, what do you, what did you think about it? Was it, you know, informative? What, you know, were you like surprised or? You know, what do you think after you had a chance to, to take it? No, it, it was informative. Um, I probably, I, I don't know if I was surprised because like, I know like I, <laughs> like where I carry like, right, right. all my weight on, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. to say. Um, but it was kind of nice to have like that almost like definitive, like, all right, this is what it is. Um, this is like, almost like what would look good for you right um you know to kind of get a better idea of you know things that would kind of flatter my body shape right 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 um the reason i say surprise is because i know sometimes i've run into clients who feel that they are one specific body shape when they're actually another one um and then you know the other thing the good thing about the quiz is that it can actually just give you a different perspective on your body type so like you said you know where your weight is proportioned at and even when you think about where your weight is proportioned at a lot of times as women it doesn't really make us feel good or confident but then after you understand okay this is my body shape and this is why it's like that and this is what works and what doesn't work then it begins to give you like clarity and more confidence moving forward so that you can know you know identify what pieces look great and what what doesn't look great so it also has that other effect too, because people do kind of know the way their body is, but they don't feel great about it or they, they're not, you know, super excited about it. So understanding your body shape is one of those things that I've decided to really speak about um, for the past few years, literally, like probably since I started, because I noticed that when I would consult with women, we all, even myself, we can point out the negative things, right? Or the things that we feel are flaws about our body versus focusing on the good parts of our body, but even taking those things and understanding them. Because once you understand something, you know what to do differently moving forward. And so I felt that, you know, whenever I would speak with my clients, I'm like, it's okay to be bigger on the bottom or bigger on the top or bigger in the middle. This is what you have to do moving forward so that your clothing just looks better on your body. And I find that every single woman that I've had an opportunity to work with, they feel better. They feel more confident, you know, with the clothes, but even just having that understanding of, okay, this is what it means. This is, you know, what it means for my body to be shaped that way. Um, and so I think that that's one of the most important things that women should know, um, because it, it makes your clothing look better on your body and it makes them feel better about the way that their body is shaped. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, it's funny because like going like from what I do, like my perspective almost is like, you know, I help with obviously like you know, if somebody needs like their closet organized, one of the problems that it could be is that there's maybe there's too many clothes in there for the space, right? right. And mm -hmm. you know, there's too many clothes that, you know, did you ever hear that statistic? Like you only wear 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. Right. Or something mm -hmm. like That's that. exactly what it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's like, those are like some of the questions that like you kind of like, think to yourself or like I kind of like have clients talk about is like you know well do you really even feel good in that outfit right. or you know and, and I think that has like a huge a huge thing to do with everything or I always like to say like all right if you had this on and you saw an ex would you feel like, would you feel good <laughs> I love like, that you know what I mean like if you right. saw an ex-boyfriend or something like right. you know just something like that and you it always gets a chuckle at least, but then you're like, oh yeah, maybe not. Like, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause those are questions that, you know, make someone think, right? It, it does, it makes yeah. somebody really think about it for a second. Like, wait, wait, hold up. If I did see my ex, would I, would I want to be seen in this? Because otherwise right. you're going to hold on to it. You know, otherwise they're just going to keep it. They're never going to get, get rid of it. So, you know, it does call to kind of hit that button a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It does call 
for yeah. people to be a little bit uncomfortable and to make someone think because then when you think about it you can make a better decision like you know what yeah i want my ex to see me in this or no i don't and then you know you go from there so i think that that's good that you know that's a way for you to get them to make a choice right so that you can continue to do what you do efficiently and making sure that you're organizing their closet but you're not just putting things back that they don't need or that they're not going to wear because again along with you organizing you're helping them be more efficient so if you don't say that to them and make them you know get rid of stuff how can you maximize their space for them, right? Like if they're just keeping a bunch of things that they don't need. So I think that's a good question, you know, that you're already yeah. asking them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, like when, when I do work with clients, like I'm always like, you know, I never make you get rid of anything, but you know, it goes back to like, it just goes back to like, um, having you think about those questions mm -hmm. and, you know, really thinking about it and like, almost like, you know, what your, what your end goal is for yourself, right. you know, for the closet, for, you know, how do you, and I'm sure from your perspective is like, how do you almost want to portray yourself mm -hmm. or even, you know, portray yourself to others or even for yourself. Right. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so what do you okay because you're in uh, georgia right. outside of that you said, right, right? Mm -hmm. okay so one of the things i know we are going to talk about today too was also like you know what types of like pieces for the season right, like right. people should kind of focus on um but if you want to get into that i do have a question because i'm kind of curious like because I think I, we have some people possibly like, you know, in Florida watching or okay. like, you know, all over the place. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I mean, you're from Connecticut too. So, you right. know, like the seasons and everything too. But like, if, if someone's in Florida, like, are they really looking for the same type of clothes for the season? Yeah. So that's a really good question. Um, the interesting thing is when I put together the list, I do take that into consideration because I know that I have people that are connected to me, whether if they're on social media or whether they're a part of my style community, which is just my email list. And there are different people from all over. I have people who are even in other countries. So I do, you know, create my list with that in mind. And I'm someone who really focuses on more of your like classic pieces. So even if it isn't something more like a seasonal, it is kind of just like overall, like something you should have in your wardrobe period. So I don't really like to focus on things that are trend or like kind of in the now. Um, and so I know for a fact, like, for example, I'll just give one of them. It's like a pair of denim. I feel like even people in Florida at some point do wear denim, you know, maybe they wear it at nighttime when it's a little cooler. But the other really interesting thing is that people travel. So even if people reside in Florida, you know, a lot of people who reside in Florida are from the tri-state area, you know, so they travel back home during the holiday season, you know, to visit. So yeah. they will need jeans. They will need certain types of jackets and just, so that's also, you know, why I kind of, you know, share it too, because they may be traveling somewhere or visiting somewhere or, you know, vacationing and it may be cold, you know, then they may need to know. So, yeah. So that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like that a lot how you said like you focus more on not necessarily what's on trend but like you know staples almost right, right like right. so and I guess like from from like my point of view with like what I do is like pieces like that are like great because you know that you're going to use them right. throughout instead of like you know uh blocking up your closet with like things that you're only going to wear like once or twice. Right, or, right, you know, right, so, right. Yeah, I like that a yeah, lot, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, so that was a really good question because I always think about that. I'm like, okay, there's a lot of different people who may even see this, maybe people who are not directly in our community, and we're not sure where they're tuning in from. You know, that's the beauty of social media. People have an opportunity, right, to connect with us from all over. So I find that yep. everything here um you know and i'll go more in detail too but i find like everything here you can use it some way in your wardrobe at some point 
Um, and I have some really other cool little tips that, you know, will benefit to people who maybe are not in like a colder climate. Um, so maybe it really isn't necessarily the style of the clothing, but maybe it's like a specific print or something. So I try to mix it up to as far as pieces, but also colors or, you know, just different things that people can look for um, when they're shopping too. So I like to kind of incorporate those things as well. Yeah. 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 Um, so I don't know if this um, is kind of like what you're talking about, but I've had like people ask me about like capsule wardrobes. Oh, like, wow. I guess which is from like, again, like a minimalist maybe perspective. Right, right. Is great, but like, again, I have no idea. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, so is that kind of like something what you were talking about or um, like where you can get the match almost? Or? Oh yeah, so absolutely. So whenever I hear capsule or, you know, minimalist, it's really just someone who doesn't want a whole lot of clothing and they really want to have clothing that they own that they can wear multiple times. So they want to make sure they're it's minimalist but i really call it like maximizing your wardrobe because you want things that you know that you are going to wear you don't want to just have stuff in your closet that's a waste right so like you haven't worn it in six months to a year and so a lot of people who are looking for capsule wardrobes or minimal you know wardrobes they're just really tired of having a closet full of clothes but nothing to wear so they want to pretty much downgrade it to wear okay everything in my closet i know i'm gonna wear it I'm going to wear it multiple times. I'm going to wear it in different ways. And so that's basically um, what that means. Hey, baby. And um, <laughs> it's interesting because when I work with my clients, I don't present them. I don't present it to them as having like a capsule wardrobe or a minimal wardrobe. I really just hone in on who they are as an individual and how we want to present that and making sure that you have clothing for every area of your life because Here's the thing, you have two different types of women. You have women who may have a closet full of clothes, but they have nothing to wear. So, you know, maybe this is a business professional. Maybe she plays tennis. Um, you know, maybe she does gardening. But every time she goes in her closet, she's not able to get up and get dressed and head into work. She's not able to dress for, you know, her hobbies, which is tennis or gardening. And so those are areas that we want to focus on moving forward. Then you may have someone who is, are you okay? You may have someone, <laughs> you know, my little three-year-old, come here. Yeah. Then you may have someone who has a minimal wardrobe. And I mean, she's a really busy person. She's doing everything, but everything in her wardrobe, she can show up for so, you know, maybe she has kids and she has comfortable clothing to be able to take care of them. Maybe, you yeah. know, she is ahead of, you know, different organizations and she's able to dress up for her meetings. Maybe she plays on the local community softball team and she has. So again, the approach that I take with clients is we want to make sure that when you get up every day for, you know, you want to have something to wear for every part of your, you know, your life. And so that varies for everybody because we're all doing different things. We all have um, different responsibilities, different obligations. And so I would say it just depends if someone could have a minimalist or a capsule, you know, wardrobe. And also it's just important to have more classic pieces that you can wear over and over, meaning like season to season versus yes. okay every time you turn around you need to shop because you don't have anything so the goal is always to build a wardrobe that works for you and your lifestyle that's pretty much you know always the goal hands down no matter who you are where you live you know we want to focus on okay like you amy are you able to show up for everything that you have going on in your life and be comfortable be stylish be confident um, and so for yeah. some people, that's a little bit of stuff. And for other people, it's a lot of stuff. Um, but it should work for you overall, basically. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Uh, I was kind of like taking notes on some of the stuff you said, because uh, again, I just feel like there's a lot of overlap, right. like with what you do, and what I do. So like, for instance, if, um, you gotta go in there. Remember mom's on her video. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Give me my uh, help, please. Oh. Uh, so de definitely a fan of classic pieces in the wardrobe. Exactly. Yes. I, I do agree with that. And um, what I was going to say is like, it goes back to like, all right, 
you have just the classics, you know, if you have just the pieces that you need in your closet, then you're not sifting through everything and then right. to where you have to try and find it. Like, you know exactly what's in your closet. Um, same kind of goes with like, you know, setting your closet up so where you can find things where you know exactly where they are. Right. So even like, you know, if you have like your long sleeves and your, or your jackets or your, you know, like your, your pants or something like that, like, and then, um, what you said about like, uh, too many things. Right. So like what I kind of talk about and like, you notice it kind of with kids too, is like, um, decision fatigue or like mm. if there's, all right. So like, for for instance like my you know if there's some moms that are like you know my kids have all these toys but they're not playing with anything mm. so, you know like maybe there's too much that's right. so overwhelming that they can't even choose something right. so right. again going back to that like 20 percent 80 percent of the time thing it's like you know so so now you're just filling your closet with things that you probably won't even wear right, so right right or you know that you can't even find or you know it's just if you have too many you know if your closet's doors are bursting open right. like you have too many things like so you get so overwhelmed that you don't even want to look at it right. or even you know and then you don't even feel good about what you're wearing or going out right, like right so it's, it's like a whole I don't know. It's just, it's a whole process, you know? Right. And I know even for you, Amy, when, you know, when you do go in and you do organize a closet, I know immediately your clients feel a sense of relief because as you just said, just to even open the doors, you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> noticed that yeah. that's like a big thing, you know, when I meet with women is that the fact that they're just not organized, right, creates anxiety. It creates yeah. the pressure. It, 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 and, it, and honestly, yeah. I always say this, it's a turn off. It makes you say, you know what? I don't even want to deal with this. I'm just going to throw on whatever, you know, it could be that same outfit or a same set of clothing that women yeah. find themselves wearing because they're just simply not even organized. You know what I mean? So I know yeah. that once you come in and you organize, there's a relief that's like, whew, okay, you know what? Oh man, you know, that it just really relieved me because now I can see everything. Like you said, I can see my shirts hanging yeah. or I can see my jeans folded my sweater is folded you know i can see everything in its place um and so i know for a fact that that you know when you go into your clients homes it just relieves them of that anxiety and that pressure and makes them feel excited about getting dressed again because they can find things yeah. or you know they can actually look at it you know and so let me ask you this because i know a lot of women when i meet them and they find out what i do and you know, sometimes they get nervous. So I don't know if you've encountered this where they're like, I don't want you to look at my closet, you know, or, you know, they're hesitant. It's almost like they feel like there's going to be a judgment thing or like, you know, well, I would love, they want you to come in, but at the same time, they're like, I don't know if I want you to see my closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's like, it's not even just the closet, right? Oh, okay. Or like, and, and that's, you know, just, you know, being in someone's home alone yeah. is like very intimate, very mm -hmm. personal. Mm -hmm. Like, so I, I do make it a point, like where I know, like I stress to like, you know, everything's con confidential right. on my end. Like I don't even show before and after pictures on social media or yeah. anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I also like to say too, because you know, all right, have you ever seen, I always, I always go back to this movie and I hope you've seen it and understand what I'm saying. So have you ever seen The Wedding Planner with J-Lo? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you remember, but this sticks out in my head. So, all right, it, in the beginning of the movie, they're like, you know, she's at the wedding and a couple guests at the wedding were like, oh, she must, she must have such an extravagant life. And then in the next clip, she's like eating a TV dinner in her apartment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it's like people think that like, oh, I'm an organizer. Like I must be so, my house must be so organized. Like, yeah. you know, and I always bring it back to like, no, <laughs> <laughs> like I still have like, you know, I still have things that I can't get rid of yet. Yeah. And, you know, we all, we all go yeah. through it, right? It's just, I, you're still a human. <laughs> what was it? I said, you're still a human. You know, sometimes I think yeah, they don't exactly. think we're human. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, we're not, we're not there to judge. Right. We're just there to kind of help you. And like, you know, like I always say like, well, what is your goal? Like, what do you want to happen? Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm there for. Like, right. 
like that the end goal in mind like the end vision like you know and and even just like you know even setting things up in order to like have someone maintain it right, right. like like maintenance is huge right so like for for instance like this is this is just one of the tips like that i that i give like in a closet particular okay. since I, that's what we're talking about right. but like all right so if you hang your clothes right like if you put the hanger backwards on the hook mm -hmm. right on the rod right right and then at the end of the season if that you know once you once you once you take that item off the hanger and you wear it you turn the hanger around okay but at the end of the season if the hanger's still backwards then you know you haven't worn it yeah. and you're like oh it just makes you think like all right maybe i don't need it if i haven't worn it in six months yeah. or three months or however mm -hmm. long mm -hmm. um so that's just like something to kind of think about maintenance wise mm -hmm. um yeah so it's just like helping set up systems and like you know that custom for each person like how, kind of like what you do right. so like not everybody's going to be able to maintain the same thing mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. you have to kind of like talk to them and see what they want see you know their personalities right even, so. right, right yeah yeah i love yeah. that i love that but go ahead keep keep with the tips because i know they want to <laughs> hear that <laughs> yeah okay. no um, let's see let me see what i have written down here um okay i said all right so like again kind of like um all right putting the hanger on backwards um i think i kind of touched on this but like um like if you're hanging items you can or you know any items in your closet i would try to keep like you could you could color code if you wanted okay. again if you're going to maintain don't do it okay. right okay. so it's it's all about like what what like if what you're gonna do right I, like if, if it stresses you out to be like oh now i gotta put this with this color and <laughs> don't yeah do it, right? yeah yeah i feel like as long as like my whole life is like, there's no right, mm -hmm. right there's no right way to do it mm -hmm. as long as mm -hmm. it works for you right so like you know it'll look nice if it's color coded but again if it's gonna stress you out to be like to put your clothes away then then don't do it yeah. if you can put your clothes in the closet and know exactly where they are no, every let me get a pen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let, me get, let me get a pen because i know for me when i do it i do the color coordination because i know it's ple you know it's a very pleasing you know yeah. aesthetic it look you know it's very pleasing to the eye but i love how you mentioned that there are people who they can't maintain that so that's something that i definitely want to consider you know asking clients yeah forward if they're able yeah. you know to keep up with it right yeah. yeah yeah another another kind of thing um that i that i read or i should say listened to in one of my audio books um with like now i'm not like a kanmari person like marie kondo or anything okay. like that but one of the things that she did mention um, that i thought was kind of interesting was like if you're hanging clothes in the closet um go from so if you're looking at the closet right and you're looking at it from right left to right like you're reading mm -hmm. if you hang uh <laughs> it should be like longer items to shorter items. yeah okay yeah right yep. so because and they were like all right take your finger and draw diagonally going up from left to right and then try going from left to right going down oh, and okay. it's just more e it's easier to go like this like it's just more pleasing wow you know so okay. i was like oh and i'm literally like sitting there listening to this book and i'm like, <laughs> like going wow. back and forth and okay like, yeah it is really it is actually easier like to go this way than okay. you know what i'm saying so but again you know those are just okay. like those are just little things to consider but you know aesthetically pleasing but if you're not gonna you know my whole right. thing is like if you if you know exactly where you are in the closet to in the morning to get ready mm -hmm. then do it how or to save you time when you want to put it away then set it up how you can right i guess make it easier for yourself right yeah. right i love that okay okay yeah 
Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing I want to do say is that, like, because I know you were talking about at one point about, uh, like, seasonal. Mm -hmm. You know, so back to, like, what you were saying about, like, you know, if you have those main pieces, then you don't need seasonal items almost. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. like, my whole, uh-oh. What happened? I think you just froze. Can you hear me now? Am I? I can hear. I don't know if it's my internet or what, but the screen just froze. But can you still hear me at least? I can hear you and I can see. Hey, Tor. Okay. Thank you for joining. She <laughs> has a question. Oh, okay. Which clothing hangers do you recommend? Traditional plastic. Oh, there you are. Oh, Traditional okay. plastic or the newer version of velvet layered? Does it make a difference in terms of preserving the clothes? Okay, so thank you for asking that question. And I, okay, so I do recommend the velvet hangers. Yay, because um, I have them right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they do, um, they do keep your clothes from, there's, you know, there's a few different uh, positives for having them, right? So it keeps your clothes kind of from sliding off the hangers. Um, and it does save space in the closet. So those are, those hangers are actually a lot thinner than like the regular plastic ones. Um, so they do save more space and it, visually, again, it just, it does look better. Um, you know, if you have, you, you have your clothes, you have your nice clothes, you want to have kind of displayed nicely for you to see and to pick out every morning. Um, so there's, you know, I'm so glad I asked them. Good, good. Um, one thing I will say, do not ever use water. <laughs> like, if you get your clothes dry cleaned and they bring back the wire hanger, take them off right away and put a different picture on it. Um, and I do think that there's uh, ladies, if you have like husbands who wear suits or anything like that, or like clothes, you do want to use those like wooden hangers for the, for the heavier like jackets and everything like that. So I, I do think that would be, um, that's better, but in general, the velvet hangers are, are definitely, definitely a good one. <laughs> Good investment. So, yeah. <laughs> and I think I don't. Do you guys have um like Costco or yeah, anything like that? Yeah, I was Sam's um because Toy's actually okay. in in Atlanta with me. So, um, okay. So you can check Costco or Sam's because I know I get them from yep. Sam's when I um yep. work with. If you want them in bulk, they do have them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, but they come in like smaller quantities. So again, if you're looking for like a yeah. bulk of them, you definitely want to head to a Costco or Sam's because we don't have BJ's. I know BJ's is in Connecticut. I'm trying. I'm oh. in my head. I'm like, where am I? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Even Definitely Burlington not. has yeah. them too. Like places like that. But again, it'll be smaller quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. If you're going to change over the whole closet, like you said, go like the wholesale, yeah. Costco, Sam's, um, any of those. And it's um, but if you just say Sam's, Sam's is like maybe what, seven or between seven and ten bucks for like a real like a huge like I think yeah. it's fifty of yeah. them. It's a lot. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So it's definitely like a small investment to make for you know the yeah. benefits that you could get from it. Yeah. Love that. Oh, Great thank question. you for asking. <laughs> yeah. Um all right. What time is it? I'm on my phone, so I don't even see my share some of the um style um tips it doesn't matter to me because i think it gives you i know it gives us an hour before it clicks us out so um okay yeah what time is it i'm sorry uh, you have are you good or do you have did you hear me no oh 136 oh okay cool okay. yeah i mean we could we could go for a few minutes few more minutes if you want okay um, uh, yeah i'm see. good i mean my schedule <laughs> is the other part of my question is would you would you utilize keeping clothes on the same store hanger no so um again um oh thanks for the compliment too awesome live now that <laughs> um 
yeah so I, again i i, I wouldn't uh, like if it's if it's one of those like plastic ones from the store or something like let the store keep them take them home and put them on a velvet hanger like you know don't even bring them back to your house because then you just have to figure out how to get rid of them right. that, that's what i do is just say no like when they're always like do you want the hanger yeah. no that's okay mm -hmm. you can keep it <laughs> yeah yeah same yeah because those hangers are not designed to like keep the, the clothes good or like we said it doesn't the velvet hangers the velvet is good on your clothing and then like she mentioned it actually just the space of it like it it's interesting because there's videos of it where it shows the difference between how much space regular hang hangers take up versus the velvet it's a huge difference um as far as like it's amazing how it'll your closet can be like this pack from regular hangers but then go literally down to like half the size because you change them to the velvet ones so i'm with amy on this every time i go shop anywhere they're like you want the hanger i'm like no thank you because <laughs> i have yeah, my, yeah, I yeah. Have, you know i have them at the house i have like you know whatever you don't use you just hang it up and then when you get things in you just pop it on there so like she said yeah. instead of trying to change it out or put it in the trash it rips up the trash bag so just let them keep it let them recycle yeah. it mm -hmm. exactly yeah. so again so, just so you don't have to worry about it right yeah um, yeah so actually since we're talking about going to the store and shopping here's another tip <laughs> <laughs> um if okay so i don't know if anybody's heard of this but there's a, a a rule right it's called the one in one out so like you do not buy another piece of clothing until you get rid of one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I have to second that. I love that. Yeah, reorganizing my closet now. Yes, Valencia. Yeah, have you seen the color? Well, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that, you know, that's the thing too. They have like pink. I think I've seen different color hangers yeah, too. So gray. like, if you want a really girly, yeah. really, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can do whatever color you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So perfect i love that yeah. tip i that's you know and i always tell my clients like don't be afraid to give anything away you know look at it as an opportunity to bless someone else because even when yeah. you are giving things away you want to be intentional about where you're giving it away to so i know that yeah. we are still in like COVID, and a lot of places aren't really accepting things but you know hopefully that will continue to change and you know, just being mindful of let me donate to a women's shelter or, you know, whoever's watching, just kind of just being intentional about where you're bringing the clothes to. So I find that when they think of it that way, they're a little bit more like, oh, okay, you know, it's fine. And I'm like, how can you bring in new things if you have all the old stuff in here? So let's get rid of the old, you know, out with the yeah. old and with the new, let's make room for exactly. new things. Um, and especially things you're not wearing, because I know for even with Amy, I'm sure she, like she says, she doesn't force anyone. Um, I won't say that I force you, but I will, you know, based upon my experience and just helping you to have a more healthier wardrobe, right? If it's something you haven't worn, then we need to get rid of it. And so again, you're not wearing yep. it anyway. So let's get some clothes in there that you are going to wear, right? Let's get some stuff in there that, you know, is going to get your return on wear is what i like to quote let's get some stuff that's going to get an roi it's not just chilling out yeah. in your closet for six months a year two years three years um so yeah so i love that yeah too. Mm -hmm. yeah um and you know if you know in terms of like donating and everything like that um if you know like to make it easier i guess for yourself right if you have space in your closet or even in your room, like, okay, where you're, if you have like your laundry hamper, put an extra laundry hamper and label it donate. Mm. If you could put it in your closet, that would be even better. That way you take it off and you put it right in the bin. Mm. And then when that bin's full, you know, you had to bring it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it just, it just makes an easier decision for you to get it off the hanger, put it in there, and then you know what you have to do with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Great tip, great tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't know if it's just me, but Valencia, you're frozen on my end. I am here. frozen again? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I, I can still see you, I can still hear you, and I can even okay. see myself moving. 
So I'm not sure okay. what that's about, but hopefully it'll unfreeze. Okay. Oh man. I can still hear, so that's okay. fine. Okay, okay, good. I wanted to let you know. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, awesome. I um I was just wondering if there's any other any other questions or anything like that because I think I pretty much um, kind of went over everything that I wanted to mention I think um, you know I'm I'm always like if anybody wanted to you know reach out and ask me any questions I, I you know send me an email or something I'd be happy to answer you know the best I could too so oh yeah yeah definitely tell everybody where they can find you or connect with you for sure yeah oh uh sure so uh my well my website is www.allaboutorganizing.me um or you know if you want to just shoot me an email or something amy at allaboutorganizing.me and then uh what about you where can people find you and all of that good stuff too so i want to share quickly the tips and then i'll share where they can find awesome. me. I was trying to type your website and stuff in there so I can pin it because I think we can pin it that way. Thank you, Toy. Uh, Don't leave your so chat. So, gonna... <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about just a few things that you guys can add to your wardrobe this fall and winter season, no matter where you're tuning in from. Um, so hopefully you guys caught earlier that these items are more staple items and they're more things that like, yes, it is that um you know that no matter where you're going so some of you some of you may live in a more warmer climate right now than other places but hey maybe you travel or you know things like that so one of the first things that i shared for this fall and winter season is you want to add a dark floral so i know in the spring and summer months we focus on you know those brighter color florals and things like that you know things that have like summer colors and stuff like that so heading into this winter and fall season i want you guys to focus on darker florals and so um there was a dress that i had shared so if you're a part of the style community you saw it the base of the dress was black like my t-shirt and then it just had different florals on top of that so this is a really good example of no matter if you're living in a colder climate versus a warmer client you know a print is something that could be worn anywhere so i'll give you guys an example really quickly let's just say if you do live in connecticut in a more colder climate you will find a darker floral print maybe like in a long sleeve shirt versus someone who lives in a warmer climate because even here in georgia it's still not extremely cold i would just wear maybe like something that was short sleeve so that's really the only difference you know but the base of picking out that type of um you know piece for your wardrobe ladies it just depends on where you are so if you're in a colder climate purchase something that has longer sleeves if you're in a warmer client climate you know look for something that short sleeve right but again adding some of those dark floral um pieces to your wardrobe and so it's a really good thing for fall it still keeps your wardrobe very vibrant right because whenever you look at flowers or think of florals you know it just brings excitement and it just can keep your wardrobe exciting even in these colder you know months to come or even the fact that the sun right we don't really see a lot of sun like that right just everything kind of gets gloomy again even if you're in florida i get it i feel some kind of way because it's hot but so <laughs> um and also i want to add to that that depending on where you are right so if, if you're in a colder climate you can even add like different accent pieces so you can add like a leather jacket a suede jacket you know you can add like some booties or something so just how you dress it up um you know also comes into play as far as where you're living so the other thing that i want to share is i want to share um any sort of tops that have like a neck bow um so again it doesn't matter if you're in a warmer climate or a colder climate these types of blouse come sleeveless listen you got to stop that beautiful because i'm talking <laughs> so these types of blouses come sleeveless and all it is is it just has like that bow around your neck in some sort of way so again it could be long sleeve it could be sleeveless it could be short sleeve again it would just depend on where you live and the climate and stuff like that but again overall that piece 
is going to help you be stylish for this season, um, you know, coming up. Another thing, ladies, denim jeans. Denim jeans never go out of style. Um, it doesn't matter where you live. We all need to make sure that we have a good pair. If not, I would say minimum three pairs of really great quality denim jeans. I would say get them in um, a dark hue. I would say get them in a lighter hue. And I would even say get them in a black, you know, color hue. So again, it doesn't matter where you are, um, you know, owning great denim is always extremely important and something that you should always have in your wardrobe. And again, if we're thinking of like warmer climates, you can even invest in some really nice denim skirts, things that come um, below your knee or even come like above your ankle, you know, depending on your age group and everything like that. We want to make sure that we're looking appropriate and stuff like that. So again, um, you don't have to get denim jeans. You can definitely maybe get like some really nice denim skirts. I own them. I have ones that come to my knee and ones that come to my ankle. And they're really good to have. They are wardrobe essential. They can be worn repeatedly and in many different ways. Um, and for those of you that are in Connecticut or in the colder climates, I'm just going to say tweed jackets are really, um, really great thing. Um, you know, any sort of like button down jacket is really great, like double breasted jackets, wool jackets, like those sorts of things are things that you can purchase. Um, so if you're in like a colder climate or if you know that you're heading to a colder climate. Um, and here's just a really quick list of some other things, no matter where you are. So printed scarves, um, gold accessories. So again, when we think of accessories and jewelry, that's for anybody. So gold earrings, a gold necklace, maybe gold rings or bangles, just anything that you like. You know, they have a lot of really cute, dainty gold jewelry available anywhere. Um, so again, to really just accessorize your looks, no matter if it's a casual thing, no matter if you're heading into work, um, you can definitely add gold. Um, a crossbody bag or shoulder bag, maybe some of you ladies um, you know, don't really own any good quality shoulder bags or pocketbooks right now. You know, that's also an accessory that's pretty universal for you wherever you live, wherever you go. Maybe that's something that you want to think about adding. Um, again, any sort of blazers. We know blazers are universal no matter where you are, especially if you're in a professional setting. So for those of you that are in a warmer climate, we know that the air conditioning is running. So even if you do wear a blazer, you know, to work or to an event, we know that where you're heading is going to accommodate you. So don't worry about that. Um, I mentioned the leather jacket. Even for me, that's something that I'm thinking about getting um, living here in Atlanta because eventually it's going to get cooler. Um, knit sweater. So for my people where it's cold. And another thing too, they again, knit sweaters or sweaters in general come in different styles. Like you have some that are sleeveless. Um, you know, you have some that are shorter sleeve. And so again, it just would depend on where you are, how, what you want to purchase. Um, and so, like I said, these are just a few things that I wanted to share. Um, yes, beautiful. Yes, you can. And so, um, this is another little plug. So every month in the style community, I give a list of things that they can shop for no matter where you live. And so when we think about the holiday season coming up, we think about Black Friday, we think about Cyber Monday, we think about all the different deals. The good thing about this list that I give every month is that it's almost like your Black Friday every month. It's almost like your Cyber Monday every month. So everything that is on these lists every month is already, it's already discounted. You don't need any coupon codes. You don't need anything to get a discount. Um, and I literally posted this on my Instagram just to show that the things that I listed are on sale. And so this month, it, um, it's uh, sweaters. It's any sort of suiting. So like a jacket and like dress pants. Um, and, oh man, I don't have the other three things. I need my other phone. But I wanted to <laughs> share that because um, it's like that. So you have like your, your Black Friday and Cyber Monday every month listen she she's like i'm sick of her being on this this live but um uh -oh. those are just a few things that i wanted to share from you know my point of view as far as like what you can add 
What I also love about these items is that they're universal for everybody, even, even when it comes to your body shape, right? I mentioned earlier in the live that I focus on helping women to understand what their body shape is and how to dress for it. I can't do this. Go bring it to your brother. Um, <laughs> and so whenever we understand what our proper body shape is, there are certain clothing pieces that we should wear and certain things that we should stay away from. But everything that I mentioned here today is pretty much universal for everyone, you know, especially denim jeans, especially gold accessories, especially, you know, a cross body bag, like those simple things, especially just like a, the top, the sweaters. Um, so those are just some things, of course, ladies, if you want like more specific tailored, you know, style information for yourself, then you can visit my website, ValenciaHolland.com and book a style consultation. And you can hang out with me on social media. I do my best to add, you know, just value and style tips and shopping information. So um, the style educator page right here on Facebook and I'm the style educator on Instagram as well. So that is basically it for my piece. That's great. I, I will just say, Go take that uh, style quiz, that body shape quiz. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the newsletter because I am on the newsletter and I love getting those. Oh, so. thank you so much. Thank you for that no positive problem. feedback and encouraging words, you know, because I really love it's it. Great. Yeah, I love the, yeah. you know, especially with, well, look at all the technical difficulty we have today. Just when that happened, like when Instagram and Facebook went down, it really reminded me, you know, of how important it is to have, you know, like your, um e-list or text list or whatever people have so yeah so yeah make yeah, sure you guys take the body shape quiz i'm so excited about that i'm glad that i was finally able to bring that to life because i kept saying i wanted them to be able because people kept asking because i will post about it and people yeah. are like well how do i know how do i know and i know that some people aren't ready to really opt into a service yet right. so i wanted to do something you know um for that so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, that's, you know, I will, I will kind of just plug in here too and just say like I have um, like a newsletter as well oh, yeah. um, that uh, people can join right on my website. But um, this year we actually did like, like, cause like you were saying, some people are not ready to have someone come into their house and like actually help them. So like this year I did um, like the home organizing challenge where I sent oh, like, a monthly cool. newsletter at the beginning of every month and each month we focused on part of the house and it was like a step-by-step -step breakdown of like how to actually get those spaces organized oh, I love so, that. yeah and so um you know we still have a couple months left this year so if uh, anybody wants to join they can do that and then i'm kind of in the works um for planning out something for next year too i'm not really sure yet but you know it, yeah. um that's a monthly thing and then i do send out weekly newsletters with other tips and everything too so nice yeah. Oh my gosh, this was so amazing, you guys. I really yeah. hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you connect with Amy at All About Organizing. Uh, she listen, I, I'm taking I'm taking some tips from her as well. Cause like she <laughs> said, I don't I can focus on the closet, but when it comes to other areas of the house, you know, I'm not as professional, but I, I do my best to keep my own home. It just really just brings just so much more peace and organization. It's just power and organization. Like, I don't know what it is. Everything is not all over the place. It has a place. It has its home. You just flow easier when things are, like, organized. You know where they are. You know, you're not searching, looking, and, you know, so definitely make sure you guys connect with her. And you even have, like, virtual, because I know you're in Connecticut, but you offer, like, virtual solutions. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, you guys. Cool. So it'd yeah. be, like, yeah, so even if like you're not there. What was that? I say yeah. So if even if you know people are not like directly where you are, they can definitely you know you know get your services and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just kind of hop on a Zoom chat and you kind of just take me around and you. Yeah. <laughs> like we kind of yeah. like work together on each space. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I need to get you to do my mom because you know my mom is still in Connecticut and I'm like this lady right here. Oh. I'm like, that's right. She's, but in her mind, you know, some mom, I hope if you're watching, you don't get offended. But I'm like, sometimes they're so hard headed. You just like, 
They don't, you know, like you said, they know they need it or they want to, but then it's just that I don't want anybody. But she said to me, well, I got to clean it up first before I have somebody come in. I'm like, well, what do you think they do? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't know. clean before the cleaning lady. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the whole <laughs> yeah. point. But this yeah. was amazing. So thank you to everybody that tuned in, all of the replay viewers. Please forgive us for <laughs> the technical difficulties again and what. Facebook, I love you, but it wasn't us. We didn't, we didn't do that. We didn't, <laughs> exactly. we didn't do that. So we don't have any, exactly. any other questions before we go. Let's see. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we got them all. All right, perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, all I right. mean, people can feel free. Like if you're watching on the replay, leave a comment. Yes. If you oh, have yeah. a question, you know, we'll respond yes, from there too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for everything. Of course. No problem. This was wonderful. <laughs> Anytime. It was amazing. It, it was going to be amazing regardless. Look, we just had to get yes. through. But yeah, I was like, I'm determined. We're going to do this. We're going to. Exactly. Yes. So I'm excited. Exactly. Well, enjoy the rest of your day.